What's up space pups? Hopefully you guys are doing great and today I'm bringing you the game Carry On. It is developed by Phobia Game Studios. Let me actually check that really really quick before I continue. I should have done this before but you guys know me. It can be a bit of a... Airhead. Okay I am right. Phobia Game Studio and published by Devolver Digital. Now, Carry On is a reverse horror game where you play as this weird, like, fleshy tentacle monster, and you essentially go through this facility and, uh, like, take out people or whatever. You're just trying to escape. But this did just release today at the time of recording this video. I'm pretty hyped about it. It's, what was I going to say? Right, it is free on Xbox Game Pass. Free, air quotes. I mean, you do have to pay for Game Pass. But if you own an Xbox or you're on PC, I would highly recommend getting Game Pass. It has a lot of great stuff on it like this. If you guys also watch the Xbox event, which happened before this recording, like the day of, it's the same day, but before I started recording this video. Uh, every game that you saw during that showcase is going to be available via Xbox Game Pass. So, like, it, I personally think it's the best deal in gaming. But anyway, I'm not going to gush about Game Pass. Let's gush about Carry On. Oh, we're already... We jumped right in here. I'm not going to lie, this feels a lot smoother. I'm playing this on the Xbox One, by the way. I talked about Game Pass, but I did not tell you guys if I was playing this on PC or One. Controls are going to take some getting used to, though. I think it plays a lot smoother in terms of controls on Xbox, but... Okay, I'm supposed to pull them towards me. Yeah, want a big eat. Like, the movement feels smoother with the controller. I mean, I guess the happy medium... I guess there really is no happy medium. I was going to say I could have played it on PC with an Xbox controller. But. I mean. It still defeats the fact that I'm playing it. On a controller. Yeah, okay, I can't eat him anymore. I'm sorry. I'm just trying to eat. Yeah, I was say, I can still eat his body, right? No. Dude, you go flying in this game. Squeeze in. Okay, I can dig it. I wonder how long this game is going to be. Red biomass and save. It is indeed alive. The seals breached 100%, biomass samples lost 50%. Oh, wait, was I supposed to go that way? Guess I can go wherever I do want to go to the left, though. Let's check that area out. We cannot check this area out. Okay, we're going right.
What would you do if this showed up underneath your bed, dude? But the real twist is that it wasn't hostile at all. Just wanted to get to know you. It acts like a dog. Getting kind of far here. Wait. Can I look at a map? No. Is there no map? What does that do? Hmm. I'm guessing there's some ability. We'll squeeze in. Why not? Military junkyard. I mean, I guess this is the way we're supposed to go. I hope I'm not really missing anything. I keep messing up the controls a bit. Yeah, that did a fat lot of nothing. My man was not ready. The interesting thing about the save system for this is that it's mandatory. At least it seems that way. Because a lot of these areas are opening up after I'm saving. I will say though, I am honestly kind of excited to see people speedrun this game. I wonder if any of you guys are... Sorry, I just had to get him. He looked like he was getting like he was getting up. Yeah, I wonder if any of you guys are into speedrunning. Like, I don't watch it religiously, but it is something that... Um... I enjoy in my off time. Like, I do watch the SGDQ archives that they put on their YouTube channel. Oh my lord! I think I'm just supposed to eat the head. Yeah. No. I want that. Oh, I kind of want to go this way, too. Squeeze in. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Ooh, DNA absorbed. Shoot a cobweb to trap your victims or interact with objects. We'll try that out in a bit. Figure out what it does. We just need to get this door open. Alright, let's... Interesting. It doesn't seem to be using up anything. Oh yeah, I can do that. I know that we're controlling this monster, but this is terrifying if it's this intelligent. You guys are watching this. I got a lot of uh, content provided for you guys. Or not provided, but uh, planned out for you guys.
I feel like getting people is like a little weird sometimes. Because their bodies fly past your mouth. Oh, she's down there crouching. Yeah, I got some good stuff planned for the channel. I know I'm just returning to YouTube and I appreciate all the new folks coming around and uh, all the OGs, uh, you know, tuning in to watch this content. I've been streaming on Twitch a lot, but like I said, I am kind of want to get back into, you know, doing YouTube videos. They're actually fun. I, I miss them. Not that I ever completely went away, but the frequency hasn't been as much. And like I said, I just kind of really lost how much. Oh, okay. Yeah, I kind of really lost how much I truly enjoy recording videos. I'm say this is not the same crevice, no? Wait, 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 wait. Oh, retrieve biomass, okay. Thought it says save and retrieve bonus. Can't do anything down here yet. Okay, yeah, that's still down there. Guess that's where I'm going next, after? You guys can also let me know or not if you guys mind the achievement notifications and stuff. Granted, I'm not as big of a trophy hunter slash achievement hunter as I used to be. I used to dedicate a lot of time to doing it. And although I don't regret my time doing it for as long as I've done it, because I've been, a, man, I've been achievement hunting slash trophy hunting since I was like 14, maybe like 13. And I stopped doing it about Hmm, a little over two years ago? Oh, I'm playing as a scientist now. Interesting. Yeah, I stopped, I stopped hunting a few years ago, or a couple years ago, and it's honestly been one of the best decisions for me to make because I wasn't really enjoying games. And what I mean by that is not that I wasn't having fun with what I was playing, but let's just say I'm at a point right now where there's been so many games that's come out. Uh, can I get off the ladder? It's a weird way to get off a ladder. You have to like shimmy to the side. Unless I'm missing something. Wait, let's examine. Patch of antediluvian something. It I think it said mass maybe. Moss. Can I drop to the floor? No. But yeah, there's a ton of games like um, Horizon Zero Dawn, the newest Spider-Man for PS4, um, the Hitman games. There's just so much that I never got around to playing that I own. And unidentified species of Tufex worms. It's supposed to be Tubifex? 
see. Disorganized mass of bone and dried tissue. Plant C4. I think y'all might want to get away from there. Okay, they know what they're doing. Charging head first in the danger, baby. Don't no tentacle monster scare that dude. Yeah, like I was saying, there's just so much that I've missed out on playing just because of spending those extra hours in a certain game getting trophies. It's also kind of soured the experience of some games too. Like, no particular ones are coming to mind right now, but like, I do know there were games that I really enjoyed at first, but when I started getting the trophies in them, I hated the games. Or like, it was one of those things where you would wanna play the, like it'd be one of those games like maybe a, a year down the road or something, you may return to it and play it a little bit, or you might show it off to somebody if they've never played it and they're kind of looking for some gameplay or whatever. And uh oh, sorry. Yeah, and you just you know might return to it one day, but your experience is ruined. It's so soured that like there's just some things like I can't even. Like I said, nothing particular comes to mind, but like I know in that particular moment or moments that I've had with that, it was just kind of like, I don't want to see this game again. So yeah, I mean, not to down anybody who does do it. If you trophy hunt, you trophy hunt, you know. more power to you it just isn't for me anymore roar to taunt enemies almost oh shoot wait Oh, I was like, who did I grab? I can go down here. Oh, no, just waited for me to sneak around. Sorry. Maybe at some point in this playthrough, I'll have a moment with one of the scientists. They're like, it just, it just looked at me. It didn't do anything. I don't know what I did, but it didn't kill me. Yeah, it really does seem like you have to find every save point. Oh, shoot. Yeah, boys.
Okay, yeah, I can't gain any health from them. Good though, enemy variation. You love to see it. Damage vent covers and wooden walls slash enemies. Okay. Wonder how many abilities they're planning to give us that they are putting two of the first abilities we get on the same button. Claustrophobia. We're really popping these achievements. Really makes me question the length of this game. There's no point to breaking these. I just kind of like it. He was trying to play dead on me. Smart dude. Hey, it doesn't seem like a very good position. I'm no expert though. Oh wait, that's where I can leave. Free food. Where are you going, man? Go through the door. I wonder if you can use that slash to... Let's see, I think this is... Mm, I think we can make... Yeah, I, was say, I think we can make more progress over here. I, oh my, I was not trying to go through that. I just happened to fall through. Good thing you move kind of fast. I am looking a little nasty though, I'm not gonna lie. Uh oh, we got one survivor. You would have stayed dead and played dead. Stayed dead. You can't be dead if you're still alive. <laughs> How you wake up dead? What it reminds me of. Anybody seen Scary Movie? I mean, somebody has to have seen Scary Movie. Alright. There's nothing over there. Yeah, okay. I'm just going back where I came from. Right? This status breach 50%, so I'm gonna assume that just means that I haven't completely explored that area. Which in that case, I'm totally missing something. But we shall see. We got a new ability over here. So yeah, I think we're going back that way. Let's just, let me just slide my tail back over yeah there's something we're missing in this area at least to progress on or actually you know what you know what i think it is yeah i think remember where there was that outdoors area wait was it the outdoors area Oh wait, look, there's a door over there. How do I get over there though? Not gonna lie. Feeling kind of smooth. The way I'm just making my way through this map. Okay. 
This is interesting. We're reaching areas we have not touched yet. Hmm. New ability. Let's go. Grow a second prehensile, pre yeah, prehensile tentacle. What is that? I don't know what that means. I'm a little slow, y'all. Uh, we can't go that way. Hmm. So does that mean we can only? from this area we can only enter from the top okay we've been here before I really wish there was a map let me see yeah that's a uh a missed opportunity all right well we explored that area i'm gonna look around a bit and then we are going to return when i have found where i'm going Okay, so that did not take that long at all, actually. I think this is where we might be trying to go. We shall see, because I haven't been here before. So, yes. Okay. This is progress. Oh, I just noticed. Okay, the second tentacle. Wait, 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 whoa, whoa, whoa. Where is my... Where is my... I really want to know where my freaking spider web attack went. I don't have it anymore. Can I switch the abilities? No. That is very awkward. That is a mess. Yeah, what happened to... What, what am I supposed to do now? Oh, deposit biomass. Huh. That's... That's interesting. Okay. So I... Hmm. I don't... I don't know how I feel about that. Why not just let me switch that with, like, the D-pad? Like, you know... Pressing right on the D-pad switches the ability on the right bumper. Pressing left on the D-pad switches the ability on the left bumper, you know. Like, I don't, I don't understand. This is kind of a rough one because I can't drop it off. Uh, never mind. We're good. Oh, I got both of them. Get wrecked. 
So let's see, do you deposit the biomass? Yeah, you deposit it in water. Interesting. Locate edible corpses. Oh, there's another, what do they call those hives? Let's see, where is this? Okay, it just takes me in a circle. Oh, okay, so they wanted me to deposit my biomass to be able to take out those shielded guys a lot easier. But it wasn't really needed. All right, let's see. Do I want to squeeze in here? Well, did this take me anywhere special? Did I squeeze in here in the first place? No. Okay, so we're 100% here. Let's go. I wonder why they have this area sealed off like that. Frontier marshlands. Okay, I think I'm going to leave it here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. I'm enjoying this a lot and uh, I can't wait to play more. But if you did like it, be sure to leave a like on the video. And before you go, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Join the Space Pup Fleet. I'd love to have you here. Otherwise, you guys take it easy. Have a fantastic rest of your day. And until next time, Space Pup, peace.